It's a moment two decades in the making, and it happened in stunning fashion. Oh my goodness, that the whole morning, we were all tense, we were all watching the game, uh, but what a feeling. Canada was down in the fourth quarter and came back to win 88-85 over Spain. But perhaps more importantly, Canada will play in the Olympics next year in Paris. This is the first time since the 2000s Canada men's basketball has qualified for the Olympics. The golden era is once again on the rise again with basketball in Canada. The men's team was not the only team eyeing an Olympic berth. In downtown Montreal, a three-on-three -three women's basketball tournament took place featuring countries from all over the world. Team Canada won, getting them one step closer to the Olympics. There's just a lot of supporters of basketball in Canada and um, for the men to go out and do the job, I know they're happy. I know the fans are happy and we're happy to be there, hopefully to support them at the, at the Olympics. Dwight Walton played for Canada in the 1988 Olympics in Seoul. Walton says off-court changes led to this moment. They've changed the whole landscape of the program from top to bottom, from grassroots coaching upwards to the senior level program to having a diverse front office, men and women, different ethnicities, different ideas. But Walton says Canada can't take its foot off the gas. And if you want to be successful, you have to commit yourself to the process. It's a long one, it's a long journey, but as you can see, it's definitely profitable towards the end, especially if you get to your goal. With the birth in the Olympics already clinched, Canada basketball has some unfinished work at the FIBA World Cup. Their journey continues in the quarterfinals on Wednesday against a very tough Slovenian team. Kubino Duro, CBC News, Montreal.